Hi, I'm Mark Bunker, and I'm making a documentary entitled Knowledge Report, Scientology Spies, Lies, and the Eternity Prize. Within Scientology, if a member sees another Scientologist doing something that the organization would consider wrong, they have to write up what's called a knowledge report. If they're, if they're critical of the church, or if they're critical of their senior officers or anything like that, oh, write a knowledge report and that gets turned in. Everybody's controlled and in fear. It's how they can keep tabs on everybody. Everything you say, everything you do is being watched by others and could be reported to the church. All your neighbors are looking to turn you in. Your children will write reports on you. I used to write knowledge reports on my husband. Everybody's reporting on everybody. There are no boundaries. You're supposed to snitch on everybody even a husband or a wife. Oh, definitely. Especially a husband or a wife. This is promoted as the ethical thing to do. The film will take a look at Scientology's beliefs, but more importantly, will concentrate on how corporate Scientology behaves. And it's a pretty shocking story. For decades now, Scientology has abused and defrauded people, torn apart families through their policy of disconnection, emptied out parishioners' bank accounts, forced staff women to have abortions so that the chore of motherhood doesn't slow down their work on behalf of the organization. The most dedicated members sign a billion-year service contract to work for the church, coming back lifetime after lifetime, working 100 hours or more a week for little to no pay. And if they do something that upsets the management, they can be tossed into essentially a prison camp called the Rehabilitation Project Force, where they'll stay for months or years without any contact at all with their families. Thanks to your support, I've had a chance to travel all across the country interviewing people who've been a part of the Scientology story, including former members and even top executives of the church, and those who have been targets of Scientology's fair game attacks. Also on my journeys, I attended a convention of people who have split off from corporate Scientology, where I sat down for my own auditing session. Now, Scientologists would hate this comparison because they believe that psychiatrists are the most evil people in this sector of the galaxy, as L. Ron Hubbard himself would say. But auditing is very much like a therapy session. And it's through these sessions and the increasingly expensive series of self-help courses that Scientology promised to make you a superior human being, able to control all of the upsets in your life, and even to control matter, energy, space, and time. But if that's the case, why hasn't Dianetics and Scientology helped the very men at the top? L. Ron Hubbard and now David Miscavige are both truly flawed individuals. In fact, David Miscavige has reportedly even been beating the people underneath him. It's the type of thing that could give anyone stress, and I knew just the place to go to get some answers. Are you thinking about anything? I am, yeah. I was thinking of this boss that was just this kind of monster. You know, he's shouting at people and, and hitting them. He's cursing and swearing and slapping. I call him Slappy. You know, his real name is Dave. It's that type of thing that can be helped by Scientology? It can be, yes. And if he read Dianetics, that, that would help him, huh? Dianetics would help Slappy. Okay. That's good to know. So thanks again for your continued interest in the film and for spreading the word of this latest fundraising campaign and for just spreading the word about Scientology in general. People always contact me and say, how can I help? And I always think the best help that any of us can give is just to talk about Scientology. Tell your friends and coworkers what you found out about Scientology fraud and abuse. I mean, it really is an endlessly fascinating story, and people are always intrigued. So I hope to see you soon in the lobby of a theater showing Knowledge Report. Until then, I am Mark Bunker. Thank you.